Matthew Hines. I'm a veteran. I'm a veteran of the 82nd Airborne. I took the oath, and I'm here to defend my state. state. My group of activists, we've been out with signs all year long in Seattle, so I'm spreading this hope here that Seattle is still alive. We've gotten out on the streets over 120 times. We've been seen by a million people, and you'd be surprised how many people honk for us. We hold up a sign that says, the pandemic is a fraud. Investigate. Don't participate. got a heartbeat you guys we got we get honks on the freeway we get honks at intersections so you guys take one of my flyers we're inviting everyone to seattle july 3rd for the march for freedom three we've already done it two times we walk march up and down mercer street right right in the biotech core of the state where this poison is coming from so take a flyer you guys or go to our website it's marchforfreedomwa.com we're all in this together, you guys. We're on your side, and you know, Seattle might not be as blue as you think. We can bring the red back. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Good to see you all here. Thanks, Victoria. Congressman Susan Del Bendy has been in office since 2012, using her substantial financial resources thanks to Microsoft and her $84 million fortune, she has been able to continually maintain an office where people still have little idea what she's done. Well, she's learned to dance around and she's learned to do all the political maneuvers you have to do to keep getting reelected. Well, Susan Del Bendy, it's time for you to go.